Hey everybody, how's it going? You just saw me in the same outfit. Well, here's what happened. I was doing a Timu haul that I uploaded by now, hopefully. And while I was doing it, the dog started barking and that was the dog barking at the UPS man who brought this gigantic Timu haul. And I don't even know what's in it. And I checked my app to see what had been delivered so I could write down, oops, sorry about that. So I could write down the prices and stuff for everybody. Let me try to fix this. Well, so I could tell you guys what these things cost, but my app hasn't even updated yet to say what's been delivered. There's a little cat ear and some whiskers right here. I got, my app hasn't even updated yet to tell me what's been delivered. So I have no idea what's in this gigantic thing. And um, I'm sure it's a lot of things that are silly or whatever. But I'll do my best to, well, I don't know, guess at what I paid for these things. And there's a cat sitting here staring at me. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's almost time for her. T-R-E-A-T-S, which she gets at five, but she starts staring at me at about four with a guilty look on her, well, trying to make me feel guilty and give them to her early. I'm not sponsored by Timu, and that hurts my feelings. Timu, what's wrong with my channel for Pete's sake? Anyway, all of this is paid for by me. This is Honest Reviews. It would be fun to be sponsored by Timu. I'm just gonna reach in here and pull out the first thing in this bag. It's a comb. Oh, you know why I bought this, you guys? Now, I know we've seen a lot of combs and a lot of brushes in these hauls, but this one was made out of wood. And I read that a wooden wide tooth, it's made out of peach wood that a wooden wide tooth comb is good for thin detangling thin hair. So I said, okay, um, so there you have it, a comb. How much did it cost? I don't know. This is gonna be a lame haul because I don't have the prices. I could find my, I mean, I could, I, I might try to figure out what the prices are in a minute. Okay, what else? We have a, we have some, oh, okay, I was about to say, what in the world is this? Okay, I've got a little story. My grandma, my late dad's mother, she used to have this big fake lemon tree in her living room, and it was kind of like that way back in the 70s. That's how old I am. And I got I get nostalgic whenever I see lemon trees because I have these fond memories of sitting in my grandma's living room and I loved to read when I was a kid just lying on her couch reading books next to the lemon tree or she would make me watch her soap operas with her and stuff and we would watch The Price is Right, I think. Was that on way back when? Back then, we would watch some game shows. There were only five television channels back then. So anyway, I saw this little lemon, um, artificial lemon, potted lemon baby tree, let's call it, in a, on Timu, and I got nostalgic, and I ordered it to put... I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right over there to remind me of my grandma. Well, I don't need lemon tree to remind me of my grandma. She was an awesome, awesome grandma. I'm getting all teary all of a sudden. But it's just kind of an homage to my grandma. Maybe now that I have like a, a touch point, because the comb would have been hard to find, but now that I know, now that I see the lemons, maybe I can find the the order and at least tell you guys prices because I know everybody saw those lemons right there and they said oh my gosh we have to get a lemon tree too how in the world much did it cost I know it I can feel it psychically out there with all of you guys 
Let me see if, if I can't do it quickly, I won't do it at all. I have a feeling there are going to be purses in here. I have a feeling there might be a doll. All right, let me, oh, there's the lemon. Okay, now look, I knew I could do it. There's at least one order. So the lemon, where'd it go? Where are my old lady glasses? $3.98, but then I got partially refunded because it's $3.59. Yay. Okay, what's next? What's next, Clover? You gonna come get in the frame? Hi. Can you say hi? No, she doesn't talk. Well, she does talk. She talks a lot. Clover, what do you want? Sometimes if I ask her what she wants, she'll meow and it'll sound like she's saying. No, it's not time for that yet. Okay, what's next? Something crinkled up in a little ball in a bag, which this should be a hollow tie front cardigan for $6.29, but it's really small, holy cow. I got it in an eight size 810, but it looks like it could go on a baby. It's just a little, I thought it would be good for the office. Ooh, it's got like a stain on it. No, it's just got some yellow, something yellow on it. Oh, there she goes. You gonna get in your bed? Can you, can you make it over that Timu bag? Um, I thought I could just tie this on over little I don't know, whatever I want it, sleeveless tops or something. Let me see. Listen for the ripping sound. It's just a little cardigan and it ties at the top. Where's the tie? All right. Okay, well, it fits. It looked tiny, but... Oh, the good news is I went to the doctor... Uh, what day was it that I went to the doctor? Tuesday? And I've lost 15 pounds in six, in the past six months. So that's exciting. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Uh, 15 pounds, I'll take it. I just need to, hello, I'll take it. So happy. Um, I just need to, um, I just need to, I want to lose about 10 more to get back into some clothes that I love. Right, Clover? Okay, next in here. Oop, we just almost lost something. More rings. I can't take it anymore, you guys. I am all ringed out. I have enough rings to last me forever. I don't see these rings in this order list. So they must be from some other list. But th these are rose gold and black so i think i was confusing in my last video this one with this thing and it is a set of rose gold and then it has another little one that goes on so they go on as a wedding set will they fit on my wedding finger i'm engaged leave me alone i don't know how I don't know how to wear a wedding ring. I don't know if you put the ring on top of the blingy one or if you put the, if you, whatever. Regardless, regardless, they're too big for that finger. But here they are on this finger. I like the rose gold and I don't have that order pulled up. Or I would tell you, I'm sure they were only, I'm going to take a wild guess and say $1.78. I could find it, but then I'll lose. Let's see what else is, let's see what this is. I just, like the biggest order I've got pulled up on my phone. Oh, it's another t-shirt. How shocking is that? I can't get an, oh no, it's not another t-shirt. It is, um, it is a little top with a tulip hem long sleeve you guys know what i'm about to say if you're a regular watcher of this channel i was hoping it would be long enough for me to wear over black capri leggings and maybe some little 
black espadrilles or something. That would look kind of strange with open toes with long sleeves. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't, it smells like a factory. Okay, I don't know how much that costs. Let me see, is it, here it is. Button accent, asymmetric. They call it a tunic. And I even got it in a size 12 because I wanted it to be big and long. And it was $8.47. It's cute. I'll have to try it on. Not right now, though. Oh. Okay. Here's a box. Well, what else? There's a bunch of little but Oh, no. Now, look. This is going to ruin everything. I did another video... I did a video before this one saying everything I got for my free $14 in credit. But then I did another video that said, let's see how much I can get for just $10 on Timu. And one of those items was this Michael Jackson pin. I want to be like all the kids and put pins on my hat. So I don't know if I particularly want to run around with a Michael Jackson pin on. I just thought it was funny. It made me laugh. It actually looks like a Simpsons character. And I'm I'm not even... My first concert was Michael Jackson. But now, you know, we don't know what to think about Michael Jackson. But the pin made me laugh. And the pin, I remember, was 87 cents. Because I was trying to do, what can I get for just $10 on Timu? But now, since it's all mashed together with all my other orders, it's all screwed up. But I know that these cute nails that are press on, but I am going to glue probably were also not that expensive. Their nails are only about 88 cents to about a dollar. Somebody's throwing up. That's the sound of a cat throwing up. Sorry about that. Oh still throwing up. I would pause it or mute it or something, but there are no buttons on this iPad. I could talk really loud and talk over it. Um, anyway, their nails run from about 88 cents to $1.47, and I can feel another set of nails in here. Poor little guy. He's still getting sick. I'm so worried about the little guy. Um... That's my other little cat, Felix. He's 12, they're both 12. And the vets and I are trying to figure out why Felix is so sick. And it's becoming a rather costly process. These are some French nail tips that are have obviously all fallen out during shipping. They are do-it-yourself, press-on, glue-on. I don't know. They look a little long for me and big. I have little fingertips, but we'll see how they work out. If they don't, it's no big deal. Okay, this was part of my everything I can get for $10 haul. And this is a card carrier. So if you don't want to use, if you need to just throw a few cards, well, a lot of cards, all your credit cards in a bag. It got a little crunched up, which is a bummer. Like it's literally creased right here. It got so folded, but I'll try to flatten it out under some heavy stuff. This was, I'll show you. So what right now what I'm going to do is I got two pairs of nails, Michael Jackson, this card carrier. This is, we're still going under ten dollars let me find that order so i can here it is okay these rings were 37 cents and they were part of my what can i get for ten dollars order the credit card holder was 49 cents the fingernails were 89 cents. The French tips, and I don't know, the Michael Jackson pin was 87. And it says, one piece oil, dro oil dripping alloy brooch. <laughs> that 
That's how they describe Michael Jackson. All right, well, look at my confused face. Are the other fingernails here the little puppy print one? Yeah, press on nails, puppy print, $1.48. And there should be another pair of nails in here for $1.07. Suddenly I feel a little exhausted. Another drain stopper for the bathroom. Sorry, I just need them, and it was 98 cents. That was in a pre that I there was another one in a previous haul. I need another one for another sink. Our sinks are just a mess. This is part of my what can I get for ten dollars haul, and it's another little alligator this bag to put things in, which I'm gonna start putting things in right now. It's really lipstick red and very plasticky looking, of course. They didn't make any promises. I mean, they didn't say leather looking. And it was 39 cents. So for 39 cents, you know, what do you expect? I'm going to put Michael Jackson in here. And I'm going to take off these rings and put them take off these two rings and put them in there. Did I say how much the rings were? I don't know what I said five minutes ago, you guys. The rings were, gosh, I'm stuck on this annoying Taylor Swift. The rings were 37 cents. Those two rings that I just took off, the rose gold ones. Okay, next. I'll try to reach for small things. Are these nails with little teddy bears on them? Aw, they're cute. And they were $1.07. And they are press-on, but glue is recommended, I think. Yeah, press-on nails, but glue is recommended, says me. This is part of my what can I get for $10 haul. And it's an eyeshadow stick with two tones, I think. It says Reverie Diary on it. I think that's the name of the, oh my gosh, it's all wrapped up in plastic. We love it when that happens. Where are my scissors? These are big. I need some tiny, I need some tiny scissors. I need some tiny scissors. I'm just going to cut right into the box. Oh, there goes my light. I have everything balanced so perfectly here. Okay, it's kind of cool though. I mean, the concept of it is kind of cool. It's a stick with, I'm sure you've seen these before if you go to that website. It's got two shades in one, and so supposedly you can just swipe it across your eye and get the, you know, contour shade and the highlight, sh highlight shade on there. And this was 47 cents. So if you look around and you only have 10 bucks to spend, you can find some fun things. I'm still looking for small things in all the wrong places. All right, here's something small. These are little tiny pieces of soap paper. They were part of my what can I get for 10 bucks haul. And they were, it was going to be a video. Look what I got for 10 bucks. Now it's all messed up in one haul. This, these were 44 cents. Each one is enough to lather up your hands with. So like I said in my previous video where I bought more soap shavings, you there, if you go camping or hiking or wherever you want to go and you need to wash your hands, they're nifty to throw in your little bag and wash your hands or if you don't like the office soap 
You could use your own soap. All right, what is this? This is probably not part of my $10 haul. This hat, you guys, is kind of weird. I did not get this hat off Timu. I cannot get this hat shaped the way I want it. It looks like one of those old Scottish golfer glasses. I have no idea what this is. I know it's got adhesive sticks on it. I mean, it's not, it's a soap dish. I wouldn't have bought a soap dish because I use body wash, because I use body wash. Um, I really don't, I really don't know. We'll find out before this video is over. It doesn't say on the label. But obviously you can stick this to something and put things in it. It's an organizer tool and I'm really befuddled by that. <laughs> befuddled. next in here okay I can find this order or some peonies to put in my all the vases if you've watched my previous videos you saw that I got a lot of vases if you could call them that little plastic vases from Timu and their artificial flowers are really good quality Poor little Felix is back. I hope he's not back to throw up again. Um, he might be still recovering from the anesthesia that he was under yesterday afternoon when they did a little spleen biopsy and a liver biopsy and an ultrasound of those organs. These are so nice, you guys. And I love the color and they're going to look good in a little base and I'm happy with them. Let me see how much I paid for them. Let me see if I can find them. Let's see if they were in this order as well as that mysterious white thing. No. Gosh, there are three orders of something in here. Aha. The white thing. This is a wall we already guessed it, but it's a wall-mounted storage box to put makeup and stuff in. I have plans to stick a lot of things on my bathroom wall. And the peonies... I'm not going to ask what Alexa wants. Um, were $2.07. Oh my, there's another Reborn in here, another Reborn doll in here, except it's a mermaid one. I bet that's what this thing is. I can't get it out right now. Nope, I can't do it unless I cut it. Hi, I like dolls you got something to say about it, I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right. First of all, it's did not travel well. I'm assuming this has the doll in it. And because I don't see another thing that looks like it could have a doll. I don't even know how I would open this. I guess I'll start at this end and just cut through tape. Everybody says my scissors make them nervous. It looks like it got opened by customs and then slapped back together in a really bad way. This doll was not $52.26. I guess it was. I paid $52.26 for this. Experiment because it is an exotic mermaid painted 
doll. And this is the tail end. Oh my. Oh my. You know what? I'm not disappointed. It looks like the picture. Holy cow. All right, let's see what's going on here. Here's the back. That is, <laughs> you guys, that is creepy. It's creepy in an awesome way. All right, here's the front. Wow. It looks, it looks, look, it's very squishy. It's not silicone, of course, but um, it's very creepy. I'm very unsettled in an awesome way. It's really unsettling, isn't it? Look at this. How do you, I guess you don't put clothes on it, of course. Look at its weird little, oh, it's got rooted hair. Holy cow, I thought that was painted on. It's got rooted hair and... Um, it is something that is let's hold on let me take off my glasses let's smile for the thumbnail cheese put me in doll jail i bought a a timu mermaid reborn does it have the birth certificate the birth certificate it does have the birth certificate in here it was made by BZ Doll Baby Reborn. Now, shame on that company for stealing sculpts. And anybody who buys it, look at his webbed hands. Wow, I can't get over how yeah, it gives me the creeps a little bit. Hey, everybody. All right. That was the big, that was, that should have been the grand finale. Everybody's going to leave now. I can't get over that. I'm happy with it because I like um um I like creepy things with a creepy vibe or interesting things. I don't know how to explain it. What in the world is this? Now one thing I did buy that everyone's gonna be really proud of me. Hold on a minute. Let me cut this open and see what this is. It's, oh, it's a little cosmetic bag. What a surprise, because I don't have enough of these. I love bags, and this one has a hook so you can travel with it and hang it. Oh, look, it's got some, it's got a compartment inside. Very nice. It's also got a zippered pouch on the outside. Very nice. And it's got all this, and then this I think you can stick on your luggage. Um, trolley thing. Okay, we got a trolley strap. Let's see if that was in this order. Okay, that comb. You guys want to go way back in the way back machine. The comb that I took out was a dollar seventy nine. That's where that comb came from. At least now I'm getting a feel for where things are. This bag. I don't know if this this bag was part of my what can I get for ten bucks haul. Because it seems like something I would try to get for 10 bucks. No. Shoot. Is it in with the lemons? I don't have my... Okay, yeah. That bag was $3.57. Where did I put my glasses? <laughs> All right. Now, this is another cute top that was in the last order so let me go back nope that's my what can I get for 10 bucks order oh I have a feeling there's going to be something else in here okay this order lace contrast tank top sleeveless six dollars and 38 cents size 8 10 I forgot I had this on I better take this off before people in my house get home 
me, my mom. Okay, this is another cute lacy top to wear under, to layer under things. Very cute. Very good quality. Doesn't smell funky. Good. That was a really good buy for $6. It's different than my last one. I like to look lacy. All right, you guys, guess what I got? I got an embroidery starter kit, a needlepoint kit. It should have this bird pattern on it for $3.51 because instead of scrolling through the Timu app while I listen to podcasts, I am going to start sewing. I'm going to work on this and give it to some poor soul for Christmas. It's everything you need to get started. Everything in this bag that you need to make this little round thing with a bird. And I wish they wouldn't have put the stickers and blocked the picture of what it is. But it's got some birds on some cherry blossom branches. And I'm excited. I'm excited to start embroidering. So, yay. That's actually something I'm the most excited about in this Oh, that and the creepy mermaid baby. Okay, next up. Dun, 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 dun. I gotta go clean up all that. Ugh. Are just two hair clips. And these were part of my what can I get for ten, just 10 bucks haul. Just to clip up my hair while I'm blow drying it while I'm blow drying sections of it. We all need clips if you're a, you know, you know what I mean. If you got long hair and you're trying to blow it out in the morning and you need to clip up sections or curl sections or whatever and clip up the other sections. I don't have to explain clips, but those were, let me go back to what can I get for $10. Those were 71 cents for two of them. For a pack, for that pack of two, for that, for that pack of two of them. Where is my water? Let's take a hydration break. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. You can get this on Amazon. It's about twenty dollars. It's one of my favorite things I own. Next. This is another t-shirt, and I might just wear it tomorrow, even though it's not even, ooh, it feels, um, well, it doesn't feel like cotton, but you know what? That's all right. Hold on. I can find it. I can find it. I can find it. Gosh, if I got this, that means I got this other order, too. Hold a second, please, and then I'll show it to you. Oh, here it is. This t-shirt was $6.69. It feels very polyester-y. And it's got a skeleton cat, a Day of the Dead cat with a heart, and it's pretty. It's got barely any sleeves. They should have said sleeveless shirt and they didn't they said crew neck t-shirt and the picture has sleeves but this does not have sleeves now look i can't just run around with my pits hanging out that's what i'll i don't know i don't like sleeveless tops you guys so i'm very disappointed because i was excited about this t-shirt but i'm not thrilled about the fact I'll try it on and see. Maybe it ends up looking like it has sleeves. But in that respect, it does not look like the picture. And I'm pretty sure it is 100% polyester. 100% polyester. Yeah. This is something I'm really excited about. You hang it on your bathroom. You mount it on your bathroom wall. And you put your curling irons in it. And I've got a curling, round curling blow dryer. And that's something that I need. I need this desperately to get that stuff out of my way. It's 
much smaller than I thought it was going to be though. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. I hope it's big enough to hold my stuff. But that was $2.17. Is this another? What is this? It's see, it's in one of those vacuum packed bags. Why do I always say that things like I'm asking a question? It's in one of those bat vacuum packed bags. It's gonna go. Psh, this is my favorite part. Oh, it didn't make it didn't make as grand as an entrance as I hope. It's a blanket because it's getting so cold outside. <laughs> No, I really loved this blanket a lot. Oh, it's good quality blanket. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. It's got four. It's got a good color scheme that I like, and it's got woodland animals on it, and it's got. It's just kind of like a folksy print. Does it? It smells good. It doesn't smell bad. Cool. It's awesome. I'm happy with it. Very happy. What did I pay for it? Where is it? Now at least I know which three orders to bounce back and... Oh, not, well, now I just messed it all up. Now at least I know which three orders to be looking in. Okay, this one. It was $11.77. This is just a wall, wall hanging, picture hanging supplies. As you guys know, I have a lot of pictures I now need to hang up. And these are just little picture things and I think they were part no they were a dollar eighteen for twenty piece sawtooth picture hanging kit. Where's my red bag? I need to put these in there so I don't lose them. Put this in the trash that's overflowing right there. What time? We're at 37 minutes. This is a little keychain that's an eyeglass repair kit. It's got two different screws on it and it's good to tighten your eyeglasses. And I got this as part of my what can I get for $10 haul, which has now just been blown to hell. And it costs something like 30 cents or something. 44 cents. You guys have seen these before, right? You can find them at any checkout thing at the grocery store, but they're a dollar. They've got this kind of flathead screw, and then they've got whatever you call that other kind of screw. <laughs> Wait, they've got another flathead screw? I don't know. Maybe I got a defective one with two flathead screws. One of them's supposed to be a little four-pointed one. Oh, this is. I just don't have my glasses on. Is it? We don't care. Okay, we know what it is. Stick it in there. Put this over here. I bought another one of these things. I bought two of them. You guys, one thing you should do is really check your quantities when you're ordering things. Because sometimes... Timu, I swear, will put two quantity two, unless I deliberately ordered two of them, which now that they're that size, I'm glad I have two of those curling iron holders, but I've noticed that sometimes I've been getting two of things that I know I have not bought, like that time I got two crowns, it makes me angry, okay, not too angry, this is a body exfoliator that was part of my what can I get for $10. It was 27 cents. 
And you just take it in the shower. Are you doing okay, Felix? Poor little Felix just got sick. Not just now, but I'm worried about my little Felix. This is shocking. Another ball jointed doll. I like its little bag that it comes in. Toys. Hi. This is for my niece. This is for my niece. She's a Libra, I guess, because she's wearing a tag that says Libra. And I like her little um, headpiece. She looked cooler in the picture, though. How much did she cost? Does anybody care if anybody's buying dolls for their children? Uh-oh. Somebody's home. $12.31. That was a lot. Okay. Next up is another t-shirt. Because we just can't get enough in our wardrobe. But this one made me laugh. Because it has, please let it have sleeves like a normal t-shirt. Okay, it does. It's very polyester. It's very see-through. Sounds like somebody's getting sick again. It's got just a billion cats on it, which is funny. I might wear this tomorrow, actually, on casual day. It was... I need my glasses. $6.69, which is not bad. This is um, four orders in one bag, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Four orders in one bag. Why they want to do me like that? These little post-it notes I thought were going to be much bigger, and they were part of my What Can I Get for $10 haul. So I'm gonna go back to that one that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. These are so tiny. What did I expect for 24 cents? It's little post-it notes, teeny tiny post-it notes for 24 cents. I cannot wait to put all this stuff away. Here's something I'm really excited about, I hope. Let me pull it up first. Before we, here it is. Stop it. My fingers wanna slide everything around. Ooh. All right, it was partially refunded, so it's cheaper now, yeah, 12.50. Twelve. It's $12.57, and it is a purse. Do, 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 do. I get that dopamine rush whenever I get a new purse. It comes in a duster bag. It's got a ruched handle and it's got wang. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with the designer Vera Wang, you'll think I'm just running around with a purse that says wang on it, which is a little embarrassing. What is the inside doing? Does it have a strap? Yeah, it should have a strap in here. It's got a strap in here. Good, because there's not a lot of room in between the ruched handle and the top of it really and then they were kind enough to stuff it with paper to help it keep its shape inside it is very basic it does not have even any pockets on the side or anything 
like that. I'm going to put the strap back. So what did I pay? Well, I paid $12 for it. So for $12, that's fine. I really wanted the bright yellow one, but they were sold out, sold out, and they're still sold out. So I got the red one because I just wanted a pop of color. This is a little too much. Can you take this thing off? No, it's part of the zipper. Oh, it's part of the zipper. All right. Well, so it looks like I've got a Vera Wang purse. Can't you get Vera Wang at Kohl's? Okay. I got yet another one of these things. I love them so much. This was part of my what can I get for $10 haul. And it's one of my favorite types of cosmetic bags they have because it holds so much. But it's very flimsy and inexpensive. I'm going to say it's about 47 cents. I should really know it by heart since I bought three of these by now. But, and it's got the consistency of, say, like a Ziploc bag, but I don't care. It's, you would be amazed how much stuff you can get in this thing. It was... It's so exciting. It was 69, 69 cents. We're coming to the end. This is part of my what can I get for $10 haul. It is a two-sided face scrubber. It's got a brush and then it's got a little silicone scrubber here. And it was... 57 cents, which is cool. I love this. This is going to be awesome. Fantastic. 57 cents. That is so good, you guys. I can't. You'd have to pay a dollar for it at the dollar store. These were part of my what can I get for $10 haul. They are glasses cleaners. And they, they were nine cents each. Nine cents. That's crazy. And I really love them. They're little squeegees and you can take your glasses and just squeegee them. Yay. <coughs> Excuse me. I can see clearly now. Na, na, na. I got two of them. I got one blue one and one red one for nine cents each. What can I get for 10 bucks? What can I get for 10 bucks? I can also get this comb that hangs in the shower. I have enough combs now. This was 37 cents and it is gonna hang in my shower and I'm gonna comb hair masks through it, through my hair with it. I think we're down to the bottom of what can I get for $10. What can I get for $10 more of these little post-it notes? This is a cat. It's so small. Oh, I don't have to cut it. It can just open. It's a little to-do list. <coughs> Excuse me. I might have to take another drink of water. It cost, oh, sorry, get it in the frame for Pete's sake. Well, I know it was what can I get for $10, but it's not here. I must have thrown it in with some other award. It must have been, please let it have been cheap. Yes, <coughs> there it is. It was 24 cents. There should be a piglet. Did I already show you guys a piglet? Here's the piglet. Why do they want to put the sticker right there? So I've got a piglet sticky notes. These are all for the office, but they're rather small for the office, but they're still going to the office because it's not like I use sticky notes around the house. Little piggy, 24 cents.
Here, where's one of these things? Put all the little ones in the big ones. Oh, I'm dreading putting all this stuff away. I might just lie down under this big pile of stuff and go to sleep when this is over. Deal with it some other day. Just kidding. I got a function. This is a really cool, for me at least, it's a portable animal bag holder. So when you're at a bar or at a restaurant, you can put this on the table, which you're, I'm sure your friends will be like, what are you doing with that panda? And hang your purse on it. So yeah, it's portable. It curls up in a little cute square and it is for hanging your purse on tables or bars or whatever if they don't have a purse hook already there. And it was a dollar. It was 87 cents and you can get a raccoon, a cat, a duck, and I got the panda. I should have gotten a raccoon. I got buyer's remorse. This looks complicated and confusing. It's an, oh, it's a necklace and earrings. So this is a dupe of, I wanna say Machino and Betsy Johnson. Ooh, it's really, really, really looking like something a little Meaning the chain looks really cheap. So it's matching. It's a gummy bear necklace. It's got a little gummy bear on it. And matching earrings. And it was part of my what can I get for $10 haul. Put the, Let me put them in here before they get lost. I think it was part of my what can I get for $10 haul. I hope it was because wow, I got a lot for $10, but I don't see this there, <gasps> but I don't see this there. I don't know how much that cost you guys. There it is right there. It was part of my what can I get for $10 haul. It was 80 cents for that set. And it looks like it. This is another San, Sanrio coin purse. This is Caro 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 Caropi or however you say his name, the frog. The kid in me wanted it, so leave me alone. And it cost, I don't know how much it cost, you guys. Let me see if it's here with all the other childlike things. I can't believe they put all these orders in here in one bag. I was hoping... I'm going to take a wild guess and say it was three bucks. I'm going to give it one more. <gasps> I'm going to give it one more shot to try to find it. It's not there. I keep moving the whole screen with my big finger. It's not there. It's not there. I give up. It's a mystery. It should have been part of my what can I get for $10. Oh, there it is part of my what can I get for $10. Gosh, it was $2.54. What I'm looking for, I'm sorry, I woke up the cat. This is part of my what can I get for $10. It's a safety pin with a black cat on it. Because it reminded me of the little Felix. And it was 80 cents and I'm, I have something specific that I'm going to use it for. 
Why is my dog down there barking? Is it another team who order that's here? Because I don't have the energy to do another one. She is barking and barking and barking. We are about to go for a walk. I love this. It's got a little, a little black tail that hangs down from it. That is cute. All right. Putting the small things in this big thing. Next up is a yet another ring because I just don't seem to ever be able, I can't get enough. This is part of my, what can I get for $10 haul? It, it is stuck. Oh, it's adjustable. It's got flowers on it, open with flowers. It's pretty, um, You know, it is what it is. I'm I I will admit that I'm getting a little tired of rings. And I can't find it in my what can I get for $10 haul. Here it is. It looked much more fancy and blingy in the picture, which is why I paid a dollar 37 for it. Like really, they had it in nice lighting in the picture and this is nice lighting and it doesn't look, we're up, we're going on an hour, you guys. We gotta hurry the heck up. What time is it, five o'clock? We only have a few things left in here. What is this? Wow, I am a little wiped out. Is anybody still here? <gasps> well, it's a bracelet set. It's a bracelet set that I do not remember ordering at all, because we know that I don't do bracelets, although this one has a clasp, which is good. It's chain with a little this one has, and it comes with this to match, and I cannot believe I bought this. I think, oh, there it is. Two-piece flat, flat snake chain diamond. Oh, it looked much bigger. It looked much bigger in the picture. I thought it was going to be much bigger than this, like a big, cool chain bracelet, but it's fine. It's $2.67 for this set. We got enough accessories now to last forever. This is a lucky year of the rabbit keychain. That was a dollar. It was part of my what can I get for $10 haul. Wow, it's really good. For a dollar seven, it's really heavy and it's really cute. And I'm going to put my spare keys on that. And then I will never. Oh, I really like it. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite things in this haul. Yay. The little things make me happy. These are earrings. Or little spirals. I'm going to like them. I like studs like this. They did not come with earring backs at all. Not even the little plastic ones. Nope. All right, I'm putting them. Oh, wait, they have earring backs on them. I'm putting them in this red bag. Don't lose them. And they were... A dollar forty-eight, and then I think this is the last thing in here. Please, oh no, there's another thing in here. It's stuck. Yikes! All right, we have two more things left. 
This one I thought really I would give to my niece. It's a faux leather heart bracelet that you, ooh, but it fits me too. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for me. But if not, I'm going to keep it in the plastic thing just in case I decide to give it to her. Because I bought it for her. It's a black leather, faux leather heart bracelet. And it was not much. Was it part of my, it was part of my what can I get for $10 haul. I just took one cart. I took $10. And I filled up my cart, and I think it came to actually eleven dollars and seven cents with tax. This was sixty two cents, and it's got a cute heart buckle and it snaps around your wrist. And then finally, this is a hook, it's a hook. I can't get enough of hooks. I must have put this, this has to have been part of my what can I get for $10 haul. It wasn't. Well, I'm not going to look to see. I'm not going to. Oh, here it is. Black multifunctional hook. Oh, I got it for my razor in the shower. Thank you. I'm glad I saw the picture. It was 39 cents. All right. All the shower stuff is going to go right there. Wait, is this something? No, this is just paper, paper, paper. Okay, you guys, that was an, an hour long. Holy cow, that was long. Well, um, thank you for watching, especially if you watch the whole thing. That's amazing. And sorry, I was a little confused through the whole thing. I wasn't expecting to get these today. They were supposed to come tomorrow. Every sentence I say ends like a question. They were supposed to come tomorrow, so I wasn't expecting them, and I'm glad I got a chance to share them with you. If you saw anything you liked and you need the specific link, let me know, especially that mermaid doll. I know everybody wants to run out and buy that. All right, I got to go clean up some cat puke and then put all this stuff away, so I'm going to take my little blankie and, and go. All right, bye, everybody. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Maybe tomorrow. I have no idea. All right. Bye-bye.